Hey there, everyone. Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about PCOS and liver connection, the really important uh, correlation with how your body processes estrogen. So I've done videos before on PCOS and talked about um, the impact on the female body. So PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. If you're looking for other videos I've done, again, check out my YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out on female hormones and everything. Um, but there are different types of PCOS, so keep this in mind. Um, what you are experiencing can be different than somebody else. This can impact you differently at different times of life. Stress can impact this differently, of course. Um, testosterone and androgens are also a factor here, but I really wanted to focus just on the estrogen piece here and dive into this for just a minute. PCOS oftentimes comes with elevated estrogen. Now, sometimes estrogen or estrogen dominance uh, and the correlation of that may not be just that estrogen is that high. It can be that estrogen is maybe within a certain range, but per progesterone is too low, not allowing that right balance between estrogen and progesterone. Now, a big correlation with that and the estrogen level overall then is not about what the level itself is. So if you've had symptoms of PCOS, issues with that, been told that, oh yeah, you might have PCOS or, oh yeah, you've had some cysts. Oh, but your estrogen is within range. You're fine. You're fine. See you later. And then you're confused. And you're like, but I feel like garbage. I, I have all this stuff going on. What the heck? Yeah, it might not just be the estrogen. It might be how your body's processing it. And enter liver. <laughs> liver processes about 85% of all your hormones. Mm, very big job that liver has. Yes, a lot of heavy lifting here. Now, if you are stressed out, if you have been doing keto, not eating carbs, not supporting your system, um, have other issues, your liver, cortisol issues, all these things, your liver is taxed. It's tapped out. It is overworked. And it is not going to be able to take your estrogens through the proper phases of detoxification. Now, there's three total. I want to talk about these first two because these are what happens in the liver. Liver does the phase one and phase two of, uh, again, we call it estrogen detoxification, es estrogen metabolism. Basically taking estrogen from one form, converting it, converting it so that it can exit the body, right? If it doesn't get converted, it doesn't leave. <laughs> that means that estrogen can get reabsorbed into your system and hang out longer. This creates more of an imbalance with your hormones. This creates more of an issue, especially if you have PCOS. Mm, yeah, super fun, right? Super fun. <laughs> oh, let me just take this one supplement for this. Let me just do. That's another really frustrating thing that I hear that people are like, oh, I take this thing for my PCOS and it like fixes everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. <laughs> um, so that's not really how the body works, right? That's not, and I'm not saying that taking certain things can aren't help or that are, they're not helpful or anything. They certainly can be helpful, right? But it really does depend on how your body's processing this. And now you might be thinking, well, how the heck do you know? <laughs> so glad you asked. Bam, Dutch test. This might look like a bunch of gobbledygook. Oh, look, there's like arrows and circles. What the heck? This is exactly, this is estrogen right here. This is a sample of it. Look at how high this estrogen is. Yep. This is phase one right here. These, this right here. This is phase one. Look how unbalanced that phase one is. Yikes. Phase two right here. That phase two is really, really low right there. Issues with both phase one and phase two. Why is this important? Because it can create different symptoms and issues in your body. Yeah. So super fun. I, some of the phrasing and stuff that I get, I, um, hi, Cheryl, just learned about this. Yes. Awesome. So some of the phrasing and stuff that I get from women, um, is not my own. It's not my own. So I wanted to share this because this is just, it's really, it's, it makes it so clear. So some issues with phase one can create, uh, you know, you can have really heavy periods, big clots, you can have a lot of pain, PMS issues, really bad cramps, that type of a thing. I've seen some issues with phase one, like some gals can't get out of bed for a day or two. Like legit, it every month you are down and out. It is that bad. And then there's other imbalances of it, of this, other imbalances of this where because it's different, right? And it's not to say that you can't have both at the same time, but you can have mood swings that are so intense and so strong, but come on, just like a flash, 
and then disappear. It's like, um, it's like that movie, uh, inside out, you know, where like they have the different feelings, right? There's joy and sadness and stuff. And then with phase one, they have that red guy with the, you know, hair that catches on fire. Cause he gets so angry. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm so mad. And then, <laughs> then he's not on fire anymore. That's, that's like a phase one mood swing right there. Mm -hmm. And then phase two issues with phase two, you can have issues um, with a methylation process, which can impact your other detoxification processes, um, uploading B vitamins. That's a whole other thing too. Uh, just to know like there's, there's other things that this is connected with in your system. But one of the things mood wise that can show up for a lot of women. And again, I got this from somebody else. This is not my original, but it makes it seem so clear is that you can <laughs> have other mood issues where you just kind of feel blah, kind of feel meh. I had somebody today, this is so fantastic. She was like, yeah, I normally feel like, you know, um, from the movie Trolls, right? The kids movie Trolls. I normally feel like Poppy. I'm, norm I sh I'm like, normally, I'm a Poppy. I'm like super positive and optimistic and yay. But I feel like Branch. <sighs> I was like, that's perfect. That's like exactly what it is. Mood issues that swing really fast and mood issues that are kind of like mm, all the time, right? I'm like that angry guy from the movie Inside Out or I am Branch, right? That can, and if you're like, I, I have both, then you might have issues with both. Mm, I know, I know. So these are things that can help explain why your body is feeling the way that it is. And then it's, oh, it's just my hormones, or it's just my PCOS and stuff like that. Well, yeah, but if your body is not processing through these phases, it can cause more of these issues, and it makes it that much harder, right? It makes it that much harder on your system. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments um, for the 12-week challenge that I have, the 12-week program. Um, this is, you know, a meal guide, grocery list, everything. I teach you how to eat for your hormones and your cycle right there. You also get your own Dutch test. Mm -hmm. We go over a Dutch test for you, customized protocol, all the things. And you get to learn what your body's doing, see exactly where it's having these issues, see where the holdup is, right? And understand that, oh my gosh, this is actually what's happening in my system. Like it's not my fault. There's been, oh, recently, there's been some tough reports that I've gone over. Uh, just, honestly, some, like, these gals have a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Like, sometimes they'll go over a report and be like, oh, there's just a few things. Like, these things are really off, but there's just a few things. And sometimes every single page I go over, there's stuff that's lit up and just really, really off. And I've gone through some of those recently and I know it's just rough. And when I have to give some of that information, sometimes I like, I feel bad, but women are so grateful to know, like, they're like, this is so validating to me. This makes so much sense. I understand this. And now I realize that I don't have to be so hard on myself, that I don't have to feel so guilty or feel terrible that I tried to follow this really strict diet for a month. And then because I didn't feel better, it didn't really make a change that I got off track with it because it wasn't really giving me anything to go off of. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course not. Because just eating clean isn't going to fix this. It is a whole, you, it's like you have to attack it from a lot of different angles. Yes, there are specific supplements that help your body take things through phase one and phase two. But if you're also not supporting your body with the right minerals, with the, enough protein, with the right nutrients with the right hydration, getting enough, you know, rest, rest and, and really managing stress. I don't, you can take the fanciest supplement in the world. You can be like, I'm really targeting phase one. So I'm targeting my liver. Great. But all these other things are not working. It's like the spokes of a bicycle, right? It's like the spokes of a bicycle. You have to work on all of these things at once. I talk about this sometimes. Your health is cumulative, right? Your health is cumulative. Everything matters and every system is connected to another system. So if you're working on, say, this stuff right here, but you're not working on your sleep, right? And, you know, stress and nutrition and workouts, right? You, all, you have to work on all of them and then you get a full wheel. Otherwise, if you have certain spokes, right, you're going to have a lopsided wheel. That's not going to roll you forward. 
you know? That's why it's important to address these things. It is important to understand what your system is doing, to address the things specifically that your body needs, as well as, you know, connect with all the areas. There's a lot of information out there for women, uh, you know, related to female hormones and everything else, but it can be really frustrating when your specific system is not being addressed in all these areas, just to be like, oh, this is for liver, do this, you're going to get better. Okay, well, how's your sleep? How's your stress level? Are you getting good movement in? Are you addressing your lymphatic system? Right? How's your digestive system? All these things matter. And these are all things that we do in the 12 week challenge. So link there is in the comments, get on the wait list. Um, other information and things that I have for you, um, resources to check out besides my YouTube channel, my podcast is called the female health solution. And then my book is called the female fat solution. This is all about how to eat for your cycle. And then there's the female menopause solution all about how to eat for your hormones and menopause. So let me know if you guys need anything else. If you have any other questions, otherwise I will see you later.